Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm just gonna do a quick video on putting together a thrust tube for the 70 millimeter Detrim combo kit. I get this at uh, hobbyparts.com. It's a nice 70 millimeter EDF. It's got plenty of power too. The battery I run on my jets is a Sky Lipo. It's at 1800 milliamp an hour. 40C discharge, 14.8 volt battery. So it's a four cell. If you go on Hobby Parts, you'll see them. It's for the 64 millimeter EDF jets they make, but I use it for the 70. All right, let's get right into this. Here I picked up some uh, 20 ounce foam cups from the dollar store. Which I got one right here. What we're gonna do? I hooked up my ESC already to my ducted fan unit. Just gonna take and stick this down in there. I want to make sure you line up, line it up real nice. Because we gotta make some cutouts for the these little posts on both sides. We gotta be able to get our wires through here too. So I just go ahead and center it on there, just like so. Here you can see where we got a notch out for the uh, little peg sticking off the side. I'm just going to draw some quick lines real quick. Hit the other side. Make sure your EDF unit's centered. Alright, so we can go ahead and pull that back out. Now if you take and measure this EDF unit from front to back it's two and a half inches. So I'll go ahead and put this ruler up here. Set it at two and a half inches. Mark down here at the bottom. Go ahead and do the other side. Alright that's so now we're gonna draw some lines to show you what we're gonna do here. We're going to go ahead and cut these pieces out. But I'm going to show you because these wires are hanging out one end on the EDF unit. You're going to want to go ahead and add like a quarter inch onto one side. Something like that. Go in here with my X-Acto knife and cut this out of here. This is one nice thrust tube too for this ducted fan system. Creates a lot of thrust. So we know it was two and a half inches to the, to the back of the EDF unit, two and a half. Then I went probably two and three quarters to even up to three inches on this side. And what that'll do is it'll allow for our wires now to pass through here. Get these things lined up. We'll be able to squeeze our EDF unit down in there. Then on this side, your wires will be sticking out. Just go ahead and do that right now. So I just feed my wires down through there. Line your EDF unit up. Make sure you get it in there. And this foam is going to wrap right around to the front, just to the leading edge of your EDF unit. Just like so, guys. I got the EDF unit flush with the top of the foam cup. So once we do that, I'm kind of liking right where it is right now. Go ahead and hit this with some hot glue. 
all around the leading edge here of your fan unit. Like so, guys. Go ahead and let that set up for a second. So now you can see why I cut back an extra quarter inch on this side because I want my wires to be able to feed out through the side. Got the EDF unit nice and flush with the foam. You want the top of the EDF unit to actually sit inside the cup. So now I'll go back and hit these cracks that we made with some hot glue. Go ahead and fill that little chamber up there. Make sure you're connected onto your cup. There's one side. like so you guys uh, I need some more oh, glue sticks so now I'm gonna flip around to the other side and hit this side with some foam glue or some hot glue I just try to really fill up that whole little spot that I cut out and make sure you're connected onto your foam when I paint it just how much I hot glue I put down in there so let that set up for a second like I said this is a real easy way to make your thrust tube and it's real effective and this I'll be putting on the, the black dark wing uh, 70 millimeter So while that's cooling off, now I'll take the very top leading edge of this foam cup, and you can see the line there. You're going to want to cut off this whole top piece following that line right there. Let's grab our X-Acto knife. Go in here and start cutting this. Again, you want to be right on the line. All right, you guys. So there we remove the very bottom of the cup right on the line so there you guys have it pretty fairly simple and this will be going on the dark wing plans that I made up you see I got the foam cup right there Here's some remnants of the, the dark wing I had, but I tore it apart, so I can just do a build video of one using my plans here. The canopy for the, the black wing is optional. You can purchase this at a hobby store. All right, you guys, so now that we got everything put together, show you as I uh, take it right over to the paint booth here and just 
throw a coat of paint on it. Just fairly simple. Go ahead and clean off your cup of any debris. Now just take and shoot this with some black. You guys can just do a light coat for your first one, coat here. Make sure you get down inside the EDF unit. I guess I'm just going to do a light coat real fast. Kind of let that set up for a second. back and put your final coat there it is you guys and you're gonna find out that this EDF unit puts out a lot of thrust I missed. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry up. Now again, I use the same thrust system on all my 70 millimeter jets. I'll show you later on how I make, make it for the 64 millimeter. But I wouldn't even go with 64 millimeter on any of my jets. I would just step right into the 70 millimeter, paired with that LiPo battery and that speed controller, and you got a powerful little system. And you would get about about five minutes, five to six minutes of flight time on this whole system here, which ain't too bad. There you got there you got your 70 millimeter EDF unit placed inside your thrust tube that you made out of a dollar store foam cup 20 ounce thrust it puts out. Let me plug this into my receiver. Turn on my transmitter. There we're armed. Like I said, this sucker puts out some thrust. Oh yeah, that's one bad boy. Alright you guys, that's how you build it for the 70 millimeter. I'll get back to you with the build videos for the, the Darkwing. Over and out.